We're in the year 2023 and there are robots going around. Talon, Estonia. I know what you're thinking. Where the fuck is that? It's the capital city of the most northern country in the Baltics with a population of around 450,000 people. Things are eerily quiet and calm here. It's just a short two hour ferry ride from Helsinki, where we just came from. We've taken the ferry. And it's our second stop on our way from the Baltic Sea all the way down to the Mediterranean. We made it to Tallinn. Being located on the Baltic Sea has made this country into a fascinating hybrid of Eastern Europe, the Nordics, and Scandinavia. Estonian history extends across a long and winding road through time, telling the tales of many nations, from Vikings to the kings, queens, and medieval merchants of German, Swedish, Danish, and Russian descent. They've been colonized and conquered by everyone, so there's lots of medievalness here. Almost to the point where the old town can feel a bit like a movie set. So also not surprising it's considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Is it too much whimsy though? With two clicks online, you can vote, get married, pay your taxes, start a business, or even become Estonian. There's free Wi-Fi everywhere, churches have free Wi-Fi, parks have free Wi-Fi, bathrooms have free Wi-Fi. At this point, might as well call it Estonian. Oh. And it's home to many tech unicorns like Skype and Wise. Estonia's traditional cuisine is largely based on meat and potatoes, so not the most exciting, but there are a few solid dishes that we really enjoyed. And don't get me started on the pastry. The croissants are insane, hey? It does have an outrageously good coffee scene, too. Happy dance! The people are quite reserved. If an Estonian is talking to you but looking at their own feet, they're introverted. But if they're staring at your feet, they're extroverted. Either way, I guess eye contact is out of the question. They like their drink. They're the second drunkest country in Europe, second to Czechs. They're also the second least religious nation in Europe, second to Czechs. So if they pick a fight with someone, you know it'll be with the Czechs. They love their nature. They love their space. They love their sauna. Their dream vacation is to have a cottage all to themselves in the middle of a forest where they can forage and run around a big bonfire with a beer in hand. All right, it's a beautiful morning in Tallinn, and we are off to do a walking tour. This is a very interesting city because the whole old town and basically the whole center of this place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It used to be fortified, and that's pretty evident. Like, as soon as you walk in, there's like this wall that goes around the whole old town, which is super cool. As you can see, complete fortification of the old city. It's very much like the Great Wall of China, <laughs> but it's the Great Wall of Tallinn. <laughs> Here, this is for protection. Make sure the enemy, no entrance, no accessibility. Here, we have our first door here. Secret password, but I lost the key. So, <laughs> unfortunately, don't give me much time to escape. But, you know, so far, so good. <laughs> we try, try to make it a point to, like, get somebody who's an expert, so to speak, or somebody who's you know knows the area, knows the history, to share it with us because I'd say it, we don't know much about this place. We're trying to learn more, but we're really hoping that on this tour, we'll get more insight into it and gain an appreciation for what we're seeing every day. <laughs> Dude, and these poor Sonian people, like over time, they just got conquered so many times. So many people coming in. The, the Danes, yeah. the Germans, the, the Swedes. Swedes, the Russians, <laughs> everyone. Yeah, and I think that's why like our tour guide was explaining to us that they gotta have this like trouble with looking people in their eyes and honestly trusting other people. And it makes sense. They have a crazy past. All right, I'm not sure how I'm gonna say this right, but we are on our way to Teleskivi. Creativity Center. Creativity Center. You're adding all kinds of words. They call it the Creative City. Oh. oh. Creativity Center. It sounds like an adult center for like learning. I guess there's like a lot of different businesses there. Kind of artsy, a lot of like street art, graffiti, all that kind of stuff. Hmm. And just like a kind of like an innovative spirit of the local Estonians where it's a lot, probably a younger crowd I'm assuming. We'll, we'll find out pretty shortly here. But um, yeah, there's good coffee shops as well. 
I heard Fika Surf Cafe is nearby as well. This city is known for its creativity. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds nice, but what does it actually mean? I don't know. And how in the world can you expect to be creative and produce your best work without a good night's rest? Rest and recovery are crucial to productivity, and it all starts with your sleep. More specifically, your mattress. What are you sleeping on? Because being on the road full time has definitely presented us with a mixed bag of mattresses. Some bad, some horrible, some so-so. <sighs> this bed sucks. Wow, perfect our, little studio. Our bed is the living room. <laughs> but the yeah. only one we've been able to rely on so far has been Brooklyn bed, baby. Brooklyn Bedding offers a wide selection of sizes and firmness levels to best suit you. And they own their own factory in the US, which allows them to offer super high quality mattresses without the luxury price tag. They offer a 120 night sleep trial, free shipping, and a 10 year warranty. So if you wanna upgrade your mattress just like we did, head on over to brooklynbedding.com slash travel and use our code onworldtravel to get 25% off. I think they're encouraging a lot of people to start their own business, like a lot of digital nomads to move here. Yeah. It's very easy to, you know, they say they make this, this expression that with two clicks, you can basically get your business off the ground here. Yeah, you can get married in two clicks. Everything's like, you online, can just do you can everything online. online. But, but I think what, what they encourage here is the creative independence, I guess. Like yeah. where you can express yourself without any Barriers. Limitations, exactly. <laughs> you can definitely find good food here, but you are gonna yeah. pay a little bit more. Does anyone want any gyoza with chicken and black fungus? Some of these more Nordic countries, just comparing where we just were, Helsinki, that city, and now being here in Tallinn. It's pricey. You pay a bit more, and so. And if you leave the old town, like if you leave the kind of the touristy. medieval cent touristic center, yeah. like you'll find better restaurants and better food. And we can't make a video about Estonia without talking about the documentary, The Singing Revolution. It's the story of one of the most successful and peaceful protests in history and fight for freedom from the Soviet Union from 1987 to 1991. And it all centers around music. It's one of the most unique and iconic parts of Estonia's history. We got serious chills from the story. I believe you can find it on Apple TV and Amazon Video. Playing shuffleboard in Estonia. Just walked by. This is a billiard table. So behind us, there's a ton of billiards, but they also have, of all things, a Texas game shuffleboard. We got beer on tap. We just paid 12 euros so we can play for the hour. So let's go. Oh my god, I went crooked. <laughs> Just unreal. You could smell this when you walked in the door. Coffee culture here. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. There you go, look. Thank you. That's Our favorite way to get around was by renting these bolt scooters. Good scare! Pull over, dude. <laughs> okay, dang, dude. Calm down, buddy. Archer D2. <laughs> Grab coffee over there yesterday. Played some shuffleboard over there. That's a good drink place right there. And now we're making basically a full loop around the city and it doesn't take too long because it's not that big, but doing it on these little bolt scooters is a really fun and affordable way to do it. I recommend it. Oi. I'm going to the Home Depot. Home Depot. This is where we shop for groceries at Remy. Open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. He's already got another ride. <laughs> Dude, everyone dresses like so swag out here. And if you're not into using a scooter to get around, you can just tram it up. Their public transportation is excellent and very easy to use. Fun fact, all public transport is free of charge for people registered as living in Tallinn. Still costs for us tourists, but loved that residents could go for free. So you can either burn money or burn calorie. Seats, so. <laughs> nice. Towards the front. We're we going to Riga. We chose that for Olivia so she don't get car sick. Yeah, that's nice. I appreciate that. Hey, and we had time to get coffee. Is it the best filter coffee? Not really, but is it warm and does it bring a little joy to our hearts? Yeah. 
been real telling until next time yeah. when I start my startup I'll be showing up here <laughs> Baltics. Mm -hmm.